Hello everyone, this is Kfir from DSM team and if you're watching this video, I'd like to welcome you to the DSM family and I hope that you're already part of our Facebook community and um, you already introduced yourself. Well, if you're watching this video, that must mean that you are trying to import your current items from a different repriser. So how to do that? I'll try to do it quickly and show you. What you want to do is you want to go to the import listings page up here. It's also going to be the queue page once you start upload new listings in bulk. You will also be able to see their progress here. I'll show it a little bit later. Uh, but you can click here, click for, uh, for instructions for importing your current listings. You just need to choose your uh, current repricer. I'll choose one of them as an example. And you need to uh, to drag that link from here into your bookmarks. In order to do that, you can go to here and click show bookmark book marks bar over here and you can just drag that button over here and put it here and as you can see I can I already have it over here the uh, async export um, once you you have that button ready you can go to the other repriser by the way it doesn't have to be the country repriser that I'm importing from it can be any repriser that is in this list and it can also be a via excel file which I show which I'll show later. So when you get to your current, your old repriser, just get to the page where you can see the listings. You can, by the way, uh, also sort it, uh, not like try to sort it by as many items as you can per page, uh, because this tool that I'm going to show will only take the items from the page that you're viewing. And then just click on the button. Once you click on the button, it will mark all the page and will extract um, the information about the items and you can see that it is also uh, it, it has a very specific structure so it goes uh, source id in that case it's amazon asin um, target id in that case it's the ebay id of the item and the source website which is amazon.com and you can simply click copy you can go back to uh, the dsm import page and you can click paste in that box and if you click import data, what will happen is that these listings will be loaded, will start loading uh, into the queue over here at the top left corner and you will see the progress and you can also uh, click filter the list and you can filter it by uh, items that are still pending, items that has been successfully imported and items that has errors, for example, this item here that has the error um, Puma, which uh, violates eBay uh, Vero. Uh, um, it's a Vero item, so it got an error. Uh, some of the, well, I'll, I'll talk soon about the, the Vero issue, but before that, I wanna also discuss uh, the option to import via Excel files. So this is how you import using the uh, extraction tool by DSM, and you can also import using an Excel file um, down here. And what you wanna do is you want to export an Excel file from your current repricer, and you want to uh, open actually you want to download our example file and you want to open it and you want to take the data from the the um, the excel file that you download downloaded from your current repriser and you want to take three columns the first column is the ebay id of the items or the target id the second column is the source id in that case it's again amazon asin but it can be any other source and the third uh, column should be uh, the the website that you're importing from in that in that example it's amazon.com and you can have here as many rows as you want you can uh, import thousands of items and then you just choose the file and you submit it but make sure that it's in this format because if it's not in this format in this exact format which is the uh, ebay id then uh, source id and then the the source website it will it will just not go into the queue. Once it goes into the queue, you can see here a little blue number that tells you how many items are being processed. Um, so another one last trick that I want to show you before I'm discussing the, the Vero option is that if you have many, many items, thousands of items, and you cannot export an Excel file and create the, the file that I discussed, what you want to do is you want to go uh, here and use that extraction tool. And actually every page that you go, you copy 
and you paste it into a text file here and then you go to the next page and you click on the uh, export tool again and it will change all the links in here into the new links you will copy those and you will paste them again using Control V in the text file and then you get a very very big text file with all of your items when you have that uh, file with all of your items just choose everything copy it and paste it into the box you will get many many more items you see here I have many more items and it can be even thousands of items and you can import data I suggest to do it maybe 1000 by 1000 depending on how many items you have uh, if you have more than 30,000 items please contact us uh, through the chat support one last thing that I'm being asked about quite a lot is uh, about the uh, errors that you get so some of the errors are about um, uh, Vera protection the uh, DSM Vera protection is a little bit more strict than other reprisers because we get a lot of complaints for from users who says well look maybe this these uh, brands doesn't appear in the uh, eBay official Vera list but we get uh, Vera violations so we have made a much more strict um, list that actually users can even report on, on new Vero brands via the price monitor at the bottom. But you can enable or disable this option here in the lister settings. It's again, account settings and then lister. And just don't forget to click update afterwards. And if you disable it, it will let you upload those uh, Vero items. What I personally suggest is not to let those items be published via DSM and actually delete them from eBay. Because I say, if you drop ship, you would want to put your uh, account in the least risk that uh, as possible. So uh, this is my personal suggestion. Um, other issues that we encounter from time to time, and I suggest you to do, is uh, when you import your items, sometimes you will get errors that you don't really understand or just it doesn't say what's the error. And that's because when you import thousands of items and these are existing items and you're not new and fresh items from DSM, um, we the, the repriser doesn't read the, the data correctly and it just fails the importing um, uh, the importing process. So what you want to do is you want to do the same process maybe twice or three times and then most of the items will be uploaded and then once you're done you want to go to the price monitor page and at the bottom of the price monitor page you will find a button I'll go there for a second you'll find a button that is called find unmonitored listings at the moment it's not active it's actually disabled uh, due to maintenance while i'm um, creating this video but by the time you watch it it's probably working and when you click on it it will find up to i think up to 250 or up to 1000 items that you're missing and then you can easily add them there is a, even a, a link generator there that sometimes catches the links but that's a whole other story and a whole other uh, video uh, but you can use that to import the rest of your items. So that's about how to import uh, items from another repriser to DSM. I'd like to welcome you again to the DSM family. And as I said in the beginning of the video, if you're not already members of one of our uh, Facebook communities, search for DSM, um, DSM tool, international uh, dropshipping community in Facebook. Join our community. We have a lot of discussions there. It's a lot of fun. And uh, I'd like to welcome you all and I'll meet you up in the next videos.